in the next 5 decades there is a likelihood of uh, solar radiation getting affected and to some extent the wind as well. रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी या जिसे हम कहेंगे कि ये जितने भी मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजीज अब है इनोवेशन के साथ साथ कैलामिटी साथ में हमेशा चलेगी वी ऑल हैव टू बी रेडी गाँव में हमने जो काम किया हज़ारों बच्चे जो स्कूल जाते थे जो पढ़ नहीं पा रहे थे उनके जीवन में एक प्रकाश आया हज़ारों महिलाएं जो हैं जिनकी अनटाइमली डेथ हुआ करती थी वो बच गई खाना बनाने में पानी भरने में हर जगह से उनको एक मदद मिल गई तो ऐसे हज़ारों किसान महिलाएं बच्चे उनके जीवन में ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आ गया और हमें बहुत खुशी है कि हमारा सोशल इम्पैक्ट जो है ऑडिट है वो बहुत लार्जर रहा है ऑन द नोट्स ऑफ रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी
Our vision is to empower farmers and rural households with renewable and green energy products so that they become energy independent with increased savings and income along with fighting against the climate change. We are able to provide renewable and green energy products advisory as well as a complete end-to-end -end solution for the farmers for the last mile. Whatever analysis has been done, it is mostly based on statistics, okay? So you get the data, you get a time series of data, right? You get, uh, say, 50, uh, 50 years of data, and then, then we just apply all the necessary <coughs> advanced statistics, trend analysis, or the significance test, and so on and so forth. So these are all standard statistical analysis to estimate. If the wind speed decreases, okay, wind speed in intensity decreases, and if the cloud <coughs> incoming solar radiation, that gets affected, okay? These are the main two, uh, uh, what is called parameter that affect the wind and solar energy. And that's what we have studied in that paper. Renewable energy sector heavily depend on this forecast because this, for, this forecast only decides, you know, what will be the generation in the coming, in the next 24 hour and so on. So what IITM will do is that we will, uh, we will try to improve this weather prediction more and more so that <clears throat> the uncertainty that is there in the weather prediction for the wind and solar sector uh, will be reduced. That should be the, our target. The climate change is in nobody's hand, okay? So to combat this, what we can do is that we can make, put some R&D, okay? which will produce high efficiency solar cell, okay? Even if my solar radiation gets reduced by 5%, okay? The solar cell with higher efficiency, okay, can generate the equivalent, uh, you know, power. That's one. So increasing the hub height of the windmills, uh, even if the wind intensity gets reduced to certain extent, the windmill can generate the equivalent amount of energy that it was generating, uh, you know, uh, if the wind would have would not have decreased, so no people have come out taken it positively and they are actually working towards it basically. So that's a good side. So they have taken this message, this uh, indication, as a positive feedback, and uh, they have all geared up to combat this uh, you know challenge.